Big doubt. Uh-oh. Oh, now it's scary time. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, it's the weathered time. world that texts. Yeah, it's the weathered world. Now it's spook time. <laughs> They're text bots. Todd Howard, you, str you struck again. You know Todd. Todd Howard, he's going to release Skyrim. <laughs> he's going to release Skyrim. <laughs> he falls asleep. You're finally awake. <laughs> he's going to release Skyrim on the fucking calculator. We're on the Imperial ambush. <laughs> You were trying to cross the border, right? The piercing cry of my alarm clock jolts me from my sleep. I hit it with the force of a thousand suns. <laughs> Mustering all my strength, I pry my heavy eyelids open. God, their weight is unbearable. Hope whoever invented Mondays is burning in hell and is on fire. Nature calls. With surgical precision, I place my left foot on the floor next to my bed. You'll always be my bed, friend. But I will return tonight. It feels like a thousand years pass as I leave the warm embrace of my best friend. This is a special relationship. <laughs> my right foot joins with his brother. I am afoot, too. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what? And so my journey began. I swung open the door of, of the pit of despair and crawled out into this wretched world with its sunlight and social expect expectations of hygiene. Is this... Rain clouds, but for MC. I guess. <laughs> the road leading to my destination was rough. Unforgiving. But worst of all, boring. <laughs> Finally, I am here. I open the cupboard. My eyes begin to water. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. A shelf full of pre-made food. <laughs> I take a box of cord flakes and examine it to determine the best angle I could open it at today. There's no non-ripped ones. And they want to have breakfast like this. Isn't this kind of a breach of food safety regulation? <laughs> but, they really left the me, but they really left me no choice. I gently <laughs> opened the box. Yes. <laughs> I pour the content into a bowl. Can't wait to- What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? <laughs> it, it has to be. This isn't real. There's this no way this can be real. real. Captain Crunch wouldn't do this! <laughs> My box of cereal doesn't contain the miniature action figure the cover promised me! Oh no. Tears running down my cheeks attempt to spoil my beer with their salty sadness, but I manage to dodge their malicious attempts by violently jerking my head to the side. With the little strength I have remaining, I drag my starving body to a cold, white rectangular portal to paradise. I gently open the fridge door. Th thank you. Thank God, all is not lost. We have milk. <laughs> oh, I thought it was gonna be like an infinite loop of like. Uh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like, oh no, there's no milk. <laughs> oh no, the milk spoiled yesterday. What the hell? What the hell? The milk spoiled! <laughs> This mod, I swear. I had to drink water. It's real good. <laughs> real good. My arm extends and my grip tightens on the jug of milk that was courageously awaiting my arrival in the, ster in the sterile coldness of the refrigerator. Its weight goes, unno goes unnoticed as the twinkling feeling of an inner smile dwells behind my eyes. I place the jug next to my bowl. The quiet thud of the plastic jug is accompanied by a louder, but more distant sound outside my house. It sounded like something big got knocked over. And I quickly dispose of my concerns and focus on what's truly important. Breakfast. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I see. While taking off the cap from the jug, more suspicious noises can be heard from outside. And I look out our window, but see nothing. It must be the wind. I pour the milk into the bowl with immense care. It must be just the right amount, otherwise it'll be too crunchy or too soggy. Neither of those are as good as swallowing sand or sucking on sludge. There. Perfect. Suddenly, I hear rapid footsteps passing by the window behind me. What? What? <laughs> what was that? Yeah, I what? heard a thing. I heard what a thing play from a phone, it sounded like. I heard that was like... me, I saw something on Twitter. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was in the mod. I was like, what the fuck is that? Zero's paranoid again. No, no I'm uh, not. That was bug. You know what's this? Oh, Here we go. 
I see. <laughs> it's the fucking DK rap. Oh. It's not. It's oh shit, here we go again, meme. <laughs> I look outside, and all I see is a shadow in the corner of my eye that disappeared before I can make out what it is. Nobody's in this house other than me. But I'm not alone anymore. There's no time to lose! I hastily pick up the bowl of cereal and plunge an ornate spoon into it. The first spoonful causes a light tingling feeling on my tongue, and my legs weaken for just a second. The spoon hits the bottom of the bowl as I go to extract all the energy this perfectly balanced breakfast has in store for me. Something like clawing can be heard from the back of our house. <laughs> Brother, I, require loops. I require <laughs> loops. <laughs> I take a cautious step in the direction of the noise, make sure not to spill a drop on my morning sustenance. It sounds like it's coming from behind the bathroom. There must be something around the house for me to defend myself. But I can't stop now. I'm on my fourth spoonful of sweet. I'm on my fourth spoonful of sweet salvation, but if I stop now, I shudder at the thought. It will become soggy. <laughs> While swallowing another bit of cereal, I can hear the thing outside clamoring to climb in through the tiny ba bathroom window. The animalistic sounds it makes almost sound other otherworldly. Cold sweat runs me over with fear. I take another spoonful of milky delight to calm my nerves. The creature growls and howls, then it groans for a moment as it hits the bathroom floor. There's not much left. I must finish my breakfast! In an attempt to gain more time, I speedwalk back into the kitchen! On the way, I take another spoonful. The bowl is now on the kitchen table, and I increase my eating pace. Sounds of wood cracking come from the bathroom. I imagine the creature is trying to break down the door. Just one more spoonful left! The door breaks down! <laughs> Just one more piece of cereal! Do it. As I swallow the last piece, the first smile of the day makes its way onto my face. The creature comes into my view. Oh no. Turns out it's like Sayori or Monica. What? <laughs> Who's going Super Mario 64? What's going on? <laughs> I heard the penguin. What? Was it, it was... this? Oh, what is the fucking most bug? <laughs> bug your piece of shit. <laughs> It was so perfect, though. I wish it was the It'd be mod. so funny if it was actually just the Mario Super but now, Penguin. But now, but what's the, what's the creature? Are we gonna see it eventually, or what? what? Class! <laughs> Do I hear knocking? <laughs> Whatever. Whoever it is, go away. I'm tired. Atmosphere is quite thick today. Just like me. <laughs> <gasps> fellas. Is someone standing? Oh no, fellas, here it comes. Fellas! No one. Okay. That was weird. Ah! <laughs> Finally! Sorry! Sorry stands for me with a rather annoyed expression covering her face. I just want to rest. Ugh. I waited forever for you. Sorry. I just felt a little sick. I thought if I rested for a few minutes, I may feel better. Uh-huh. And so you fell asleep in here. Yeah. Sorry to keep you waiting, Sayori. Get up. We have to go to the club. I'm not the only one waiting for you, you know. Because my face doesn't falter for even a second. As I really, really did keep her waiting for a while. Stupid me. Alright, let's go. What Sorry. time is it? It's dark outside. <laughs> it is indeed. They left the classroom yeah. behind when Sayori speaks up. Zero, there's something I kind of wanted to talk to you about. The tone of Sayori's voice makes my stomach drop slightly. She seems serious and concerned. Feeling a small lump in my throat, I swallow and hesitantly respond. Yeah, what is it? Have you noticed anything weird going on lately? Weird? Yeah, like, some strange stuff has been happening lately, and I don't know how to really... What's the expression? Place my hand on it? It's finger. I guess I can kind of agree with you. Everything just feels... off. Even Monica seems to be acting strange lately. 
You think so? You haven't noticed? No, I haven't. She's been like the only normal one. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah raises her voice. You look at her a lot. How do you not see it? <laughs> Oof. I don't know, Sayori. No need to yell. Are you staring at something in particular? <laughs> what? No! Uh-huh. Sorry, holds her blazer closed with one hand while holding her backpack strap in the other. Great. Now she's insecure and upset at me. I mean, Sayori's a really pretty girl, but I wasn't looking at Monica that way. I've been strangely drawn to her lately. Like, I feel anxiety until I look at her. And when I do... She smiles, and the anxiety just disappears. Sarah looks off to the side and avoids eye contact with me. Y you know, it's not only Monica acting strangely. Yuri and Natsuki have also been fighting a lot more. Wait, they have? What are you talking about? What are you looking confused about? When have they been fighting? In the club! Even yesterday, the whole knife thing! Now, what are you talking about? Is this another ro one of your tasteless jokes? Ah! No! Do you really not remember? You were there! No. What even happened? Well, Yuri and Natsuki started arguing about something that I don't know, even remember. But it ended with Natsuki leaving them upset, and Yuri acting very mean. What does the knife have, that have anything to do with that? Knife? What do you mean, knife? Y you just said something about the knife thing! No. Are you feeling okay, Zero? <laughs> what the hell? They're the both hell? slowly losing memory. <laughs> Did she just forget what she was going to tell me? My conversations with Monica be like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think they've never been this bad. I mean, it isn't a joke either, because they already can barely keep her composure without telling even su subpar jokes. I mean, super bad jokes. No subpar jokes. Subpar. And her face contains genuine confusion. Anyway, they've been meanies. We walk in silence for a solid minute. The only sounds in the hall are our footsteps. And the normal ambience of school is still there, which is relieving. People talking and yelling. But me and Sarah are completely alone right now. It kind of feels eerie. Wait, so it's not nighttime? <laughs> I guess not, I guess so. They're also alone, but people are talking? <laughs> of course. My dogs are barking. We're Doggy. alone. Doggies. <laughs> I eventually decide to break the silence. Yeah, it also makes me worry about Todd. Why? Well, the other girls are acting strangely, and he's gonna be attending the club soon. Plus, he kind of irritates me. Hey, don't be mean, Zero! Be you mean. haven't even talked to him yet! Yeah, I guess you're right, but... I just have a bad feeling about him. I think he's up to something. A shudder runs through me. Just came out of nowhere, which makes me even more concerned about what we're in for today. I cautiously open the club room's door. A club room's door. Have say after Sayori enters, I follow without a word. Ah! What? Uh... Yeah? <laughs> what? <laughs> it was like I gently opened the cover door. Sayo, done. Yeah. <laughs> Why was she crying? I think I. <laughs> How are you? See how we opened the door and realized. <laughs> I'm good. I'm so glad we get to hang out in the club this time. Me too. I see. <laughs> I look around to see that it's only me and Sayori in the club room. Ah, perfect. Is it just us? I guess so. I'm over here. Is there some memory loss shit going on right now? <laughs> Maybe. Where are you? Just us. I'm in the closet. And then come out of the closet. This is a judgment-free zone. <laughs> I saw that joke coming a mile away. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Taking Natsuki's reaction aside of my willingness, I decided to go and check up on her. Natsuki, get out the closet! What are you doing in there? You rascal. Natsuki? Okay, everyone, what? <laughs> oh, hello. <Nice>. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Monica. Hi, Monica. How are you? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Just go back to the dialogue. <laughs> Just got back from talking with Todd. And? 
He's too busy for today. Aw, that's too bad. Oh well, we just had Monica here with us today. I'm wearing myself with a smirk on my face. What happened to Natsuki? What happened to the dialogue? It feels awkward. <laughs> it's good to have a little bit of Monica in all our lives. Uh -huh. And a little bit of Monica uh -huh. in the sun. I'm taking it back by Monica's rapid movement. <laughs> <laughs> Monica's blasted through with sonic speed. Y yes! Wow. <laughs> He's fast. What is your face? <laughs> Are you still there, Zero? I can't see Natsuki, but I distinctly heard her voice coming from the closet. I speak up with a soft voice. Zero? Please, can you come in? I step into the closet. <laughs> um, no thank you. Todd? Todd? Oh goody, it's the x to music. It's oh, it's the recoded sprite! <laughs> it's the recoded sprite for Natsuki, what the heck? Nani? <laughs> this is Tinkerman Taylor, soldier for sailor. Wait, so we went into the closet and now we're in a bedroom. No, we no, the closet. And now we're now we're in exit music with recoded sprites. What? I'm so confused. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is. is this the music. From yeah, the this is yeah, even exit music. music. Exit. Exit. Like it's Tinkerman oh. Taylor, Soldier Sailor. I don't know the song name. Yeah, I don't know the song name. You see, he gets it. Tinkerman Zero. Thank God you're here. I was worried I'm never gonna- I was never gonna see you again. Rosy cheeks shine in the dimly lit room like a distant red light during a stormy night. With each step she takes towards me, her hips lightly swing to the side. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Stopping- like where it's going. Stopping slightly <laughs> no. closer than arm's reach, she brushes her iconic hot pink hair to the side while maintaining her seductive gaze. The tension between us feels so real, as if I'd have to cut it- it has to cut through it to let our bodies begin our familiar bonding ritual before another passionate night begins. Bonding ritual? <laughs> Memories of those nights swarm back into my mind, and I lick my lips before responding to her. Basically, making the joke about how X and Music had way too many sex scenes. Huh. You get it? Because they fucked like three times. They fucked like, they, like three times. Did you miss me? A lot. They should have changed the fucking text box to the exit music text box. Uh, made it. <laughs> would have made it better. That facial expression, what the hell? Oh my god! A That's fucking lot, lie. dummy. Taking a step closer to me, she lifts her arm and prepare to take her into a firm embrace. Her eyes speak of undying love and flaming lust towards me. With parted lips, she draws near my face. Ew. Huh? What's wrong, Zero? Your face. I don't, I don't know what came to me with such, with make such a crass joke. We stand there for a moment, turn for the other to brush it off or continue the teasing. Come on, don't ruin the mood with silly jokes. You want to miss out on this, right? She undoes her bra. Oh! <laughs> uh oh. oh. <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> she undoes her bra and pulls it out from under her shirt. The, the gust, gust of air spills her, her smell. smell. What the hell? What does that mean? <laughs> It's mesmerizing. Atmosphere. <laughs> Come and get it. Atmosphere. Gross! <laughs> what? I seriously need to evaluate the words I use to tease her. <laughs> Gross. Oh, dude, get the smash. MC is really bad at <laughs> trying to pick up girl. I'm out of here. Girls. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Gross. Hoping she's not upset, I begin to explain. I don't want your bra. I must be drunk off love, because that's the worst explanation of my life. Tiss, tiss, Zero. I don't want you to take my bra either. Take me, you dummy. You still have the Natsu key to my heart. I hate that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'm really <laughs> Zero. Did somebody spike my drink. That isn't what I wanted to say. Okay, what's wrong, sweetie? My god. I messed up bad enough just yet. My first have a hesitation, I try to save the situation. There's still a good chance of it becoming a passion tonight between two consenting adults. <laughs> Not interested in pretend lollies. You're canically 18. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why the fuck did I say that? Your flat chest won't help you either. You're too old, Natsuki. Something definitely happened to me. I would never say these to my love. <laughs> I can only hope I can explain myself to her after this passes. Come on, don't be like that. I just want you to fuck me. 
well. Hey, you said it again. If your age Please. isn't on the if your age isn't on the clock, you're too old for my cock. <laughs> Paul, what is this? <laughs> MC is a fucking lolly fucking hunter. Oh wait! It's because she's recoded Natsuki! Oh yeah, that's So true. she yeah. looks older and they're like, Yoli likes the lollies. <laughs> fucking lollycon! Oh my god. He's a it's fuck meta. he's a fu yeah, that's 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 meta and that's funny. <laughs> is this a humor? No zero! Age is just a number! <laughs> oh shit, okay. Um... Uh, this can't be Mom? happening. I must be dreaming. I can and will bake you a batch of your favorite cupcakes. <laughs> Gotta step up your game if you want to get a real otaku like me, nutsucky. <laughs> I give up. This is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> no, it's even worse. It's a nightmare with no fucking. <laughs> I find your lack of cat ears dis arousing. <laughs> Do you know how high the age of consent is? Well, it depends on the... Wrong! The answer is too high! <laughs> what the heck? You could be a mom of four by now! <laughs> That's low even for a nightmare. But Zero, I... I really like you! I don't care. Oh, You're... my dogs are barking again. <laughs> Your lollipop is past its prime. <laughs> I am neat, but I am neat, but I have no time for you. Anime club, here I come. <laughs> There's a dot. Here I come, E. Here I come, here dot, I come e. dot E. Can I came to? I just want to come. <laughs> no, only degenerates and lollies allowed. <laughs> Go talk to your friends in the retirement home. In the retire home. In the retire home. Zero, don't leave me. Play with me! <laughs> Man, he really just denied her the fuck. I mean... Plaza, and it's another normal day with the club. Yeah. <laughs> maybe Natsuki needs to... Maybe Natsuki needs to go spend time in the retire home. <laughs> how, how long... How much left of this mod is there? Yes. I don't know how much actual progress we're making. Uh, Ultra says, yeah, you know, Ultra's like, uh, that's kind of hard to say. <laughs> Not even Ultra knows. Not <laughs> super long. <laughs> All right. But like, an hour ish, says Blaze. Okay. I guess we'll just see more what happens. Oh, so it's like with elevation. <sighs> oh, yoni. I turn around and see Sayori zigzagging between the desks like a jackass for making her way to me. Sayori, what are you doing? She's holding a noose! Mm. <sighs> <sighs> I'm a cowboy! Ha! <sighs> oh, I remember this scene. At Sayori's left hand, she gently grips a thick rope. Where did she even get it? Don't you mean cowgirl? I'm not a cow! Don't call me fat! I didn't. But you could still lay off the junk food. <laughs> Don't be a meanie! Or I'll take your beanie! That's the least scary threat I heard since kindergarten. <laughs> I don't even like beanies. So he gently stiffens her face and looks at me, gripping the rope even tighter than before. <laughs> hey, Zero, can I tell you something? Yeah. My throat hurts. So he um, gently rubs her throat. Maybe you shouldn't eat as fast. You could choke. So his eyes fixated on my hands, locked in a disturbing gaze. You could choke me. What? Oh. <laughs> ah! My head! So he closes her eyes and her expression becomes pain. She covers her head with her arms. Get, get out of my head! I don't want to hear no, your bad fanfics anymore! <laughs> <laughs> Sayori, what's happening? I mean, the concern of my voice seems to snap Sayori out of her trance. Listen, Zero. Oh, I'm going to ride you until you're tamed. What? You're going to be a good horse. Meanwhile. Um, um. <laughs> Meanwhile. I didn't know Sayori was a dom. What's a dom? 
Ooh, it means instead of him taming her, she's taming him. This is going to be good. I'll throw some popcorn in the microwave. What the hell? <laughs> we gonna sit here for like a minute or two with the popcorn? I really wanted to be just silence with just nothing. Just silence the as the microwave was going. <laughs> you like watching and too? And Yuri like coughs. Mm -hmm. Sewer, you get the hell away from me with that thing. Yeehaw! So he jumps on my back as I dart towards the door, breaking and foiling my escape. She somehow manages to climb onto my shoulders, and now I'm giving her an unconsenting piggyback. <laughs> it's do it's it's knee deep knee deep in the dude. <laughs> you crazy what rope being, get off me! No, we gotta tame you so it's we can meme. stop the so we can stop the demons. What what demons? The rain clouds. Oh. Turn into demons. <laughs> Stay still. No. I'm gonna grab my trusty no. rifle. <laughs> Whoa! Out of the corner of my eye, look at our reflection under the windows. Sorry reaches to her back and grabs an imaginary rifle and shoulders it. Come at me, demons! Pew! Chick chick! What the hell is wrong with this weirdo this time? Pew! Chick chick! Pew! Rip and tear! He. Oh my god. Pew! Chick chick! Ugh. Let's just throw you off. Gah! I not say those words, so he wraps her legs around my head, securing her place on my shoulders. <laughs> Zero, I can't have you running like this. The demons have to be driven back by my double barrel shotgun. He uses her feet and kicks my chest. Yeah, onwards, my horsey. <sighs> Lean down, I'm getting to sprint as fast as I can across the room. Cat! Yeah! Let's see where I'm going and crash into a desk. <laughs> I left my head from the hard floor. So he's spread out on a desk in front of me with her legs spread apart. Oh! Oh, I don't like they fled! The demons fled! Now there's a bright, sunny day on the horizon. You're an That's idiot, Sayori. Yes. What's wrong with the text box? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks! No polka dot. And she looks around and notices the starfish position she's in. Oh. Oh! Can I ask you something? You better be good after you're forcing me to be your fucking mule. Horsey. I mean... Zero! <laughs> I want you to fuck me. <laughs> I see. I, I, was, I was expecting something to be like, I want you to fight me and smash. Now. <laughs> Same. I see. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Poopal sent me that as a teaser a long time ago, and I forgot about it until now. <laughs> Sorry, do you know what that means? I want extra cream on my cinnamon bun. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. And afterwards, you can play checkers. I see. Checkers doesn't sound that I bad. I don't like ever after. <laughs> I didn't mean to check up on Natsuki. <laughs> I don't want to check up on that. Hey, the text box is normal. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm scared. I feel abused. Okay, but did he plow her or nah? As usual, she's in the closet apparently looking for something. Not wanting to surprise her, I gently knock on the closet door. Natsuki! What the hell? <laughs> what is this music? <laughs> <laughs> Blue cover. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> music. <laughs> what is happening? Turn this spot off right now.
Not in that sake. What? Whoa, you look different. <laughs> I like how his mouth moves! Different how? Did you get your hair done recently? <laughs> I don't know, not to be. You're so much more of a sock than usual. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Something just feels different about you. What? 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 What was that? She had a whistle in her mouth. <laughs> oh, Sayori's playing oh, she... the music! It wasn't a recorder, <laughs> though, so I don't understand. I can't put my finger on it, but I think it kind of suits you. Ugh, whatever! I'm trying, to I'm trying to find my left sock. It's gone missing again. How do you lose a sock? Don't question me! <laughs> okay, okay. What does it look like? It's white with a gray spot on its tip. If you see it, don't you dare take it home, you weirdo. I don't see why I would, but I'll keep my little uh, out for it. Thanks. I really, I really appreciate it. Really appreciate. Hey, don't get the wrong ID. It's not like I like you or anything, the dummy. All right, all right. God, it stopped. I <laughs> know. This is through the zoo oh. of the fucking sock. <laughs> not that skinny sock. Hello. Time has stopped, and I'm looking at the not socky's googly eyes. Dummy! She's so. beautiful. I hate you! That's <laughs> not Sayori! I'm so confused. What's Sayori doing? She's playing the music! <laughs> She's playing, she's whistling! Cause she has a whistle in her mouth! Is that not a recorder? No, I think it's supposed to be a whistle. I think I'm in love. What do you want? Uh, well, I want to show you something cool I found. Let's see it! Take out my phone and show Natsaki this cool sock puppet account that I found on Instagram. <laughs> Grat if we... Isn't this amazing? It's really cool to see what people can do with these mundane items. Natsuki doesn't really seem to be amused by this for some inexplicable reason. Natsuki? Anything okay? This is offensive! <laughs> How is this possibly offensive? It's just a collection of sock puppet. I don't know, it just is! Drop it! <laughs> alright, alright. There is heavy for a few moments, so I'll try to find something that doesn't upset Natsuki. <laughs> Suddenly, it hits me, like the smell of sweaty gym socks in a locker room. Hey, let's say about the time I almost got a dog when I was a kid. <laughs> no, I like dogs. What happened to the doggy? <laughs> I like dogs. <laughs> I like dogs. Okay, so we're at this pet store in town. My dad was there, my mom was there. Wasn't sure what I wanted, but then I saw this little pup at... Change the subject now! What? Natsaki yelling completely derails my train of thought. What's wrong? Natsaki takes a long sigh. Sigh! <laughs> Jeez, Zero, you really suck at keeping up a conversation. Oh god. Well, it's hard to know what you're talking about other than cooking and parfait, girl. Cut! <laughs> Sammy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> When will you learn? That your actions have consequences! <laughs> when will you learn? That your actions have consequences! <laughs> oh he my was complaining fuck. about the people asking for Sonic Adventure 3. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki's a Sonic fan, confirmed. But I didn't! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold up! <laughs> okay, wait. I haven't eaten. I'm gonna take a food break.
shift shift up.